Hello and welcome to this new lecture dedicated to Tractor Common Setups. You can use Tractor in many different ways. Let's see how you can use it. At first, let's talk about audio setup where we can distinguish between internal mixing and external mixing. With this software, you can use the integrated Tractor Mixer, which is equipped with all the mixer standard functions such as EQs, faders, crossfaders and filters. Or you can mix your tracks via an external mixer, but in this case you need an audio interface with at least as many output pairs as decks you want to use. Consequently, you will need an external mixer with as many input channels as desired. For the purposes of this course, we will use the internal mixing mode, which is easier to set up and requires no additional hardware. Regarding the audio setup, you can use Tractor with an onboard sound card or with an external audio interface. The first option is used without any additional hardware and is useful when you want to prepare your set while you are in the airplane, train and so on. Be aware that with the onboard sound card option you will not be able to monitor or better pre-listen tracks while another track is playing. If you want to use this feature, you need an external audio card with at least a couple of stereo outputs, one for the Tractor Master Out and the other one for previewing. Let's now talk about controllers. You can control Tractor's functions in several ways. For example, you can control Tractor directly from the keyboard of your Mac or PC, but it's something I do not suggest because, as you can easily image, it's an unnatural way to mix. Much more easier and natural is to control Tractor's functions by using an external controller. A controller is typically a damp device and generates MIDI signals to control Tractor's functions. MIDI is an acronym and stands for Music Instrument Digital Interface. Generally speaking, a controller is something that looks and feels like a real console. Moreover, you can map every single Tractor function and feature as you need by customizing the default controller MIDI mapping. Nowadays, you can find a wide variety of controllers in all price ranges, size and features. So, a controller is something you connect to Tractor via USB connection and we can distinguish between two kinds of controllers with or without a built-in sound card. A controller with mixer controls have a dedicated area with EQs channel faders, pre-listen and possibly a cross fader. Usually, only controllers with mixer controls contain a built-in audio interface. Talking about the other case, Tractor Control X1 is the classic example of a controller without an audio interface and mixer controls. You can also control Tractor via some special vinyls or CDs called timecode. In this case, you will need additional hardware such as turntables or CD players, and you will need to plug them into Tractor via a phono or line audio input. With this setup, you can control your digital songs via your turntable or CD player, maintaining the look and feel of a classic DJ console. Be aware that to enable timecode functionalities, you will need a Tractor Scratch Pro 2 copy. In the lecture description, Check the list of all native instrument controllers you can use with Tractor for a perfect compatibility. And now it's time to move on to the next lecture.